everybody in YouTube. It's day 11. And today, we're going to do an oil infusion. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I am so excited about this. These are Buddha hand lemons. And uh, my friend Sarah gave them to me, wondering whether or not I could use them to make soap. And so that's what we're going to try today. We're going to do an oil infusion of this lemon, which smells phenomenal. It's known for its smell. It smells sweet and smells like lemon. So it, it, it already pretty much smells like lemonade then. And basil. And we're going to do a hot process soap tonight. I'm going to do a stovetop hot process today. Um, I was thinking about what the crock pot actually is, and I think it's just a way of keeping everything off of a direct heat source. So I, make, I made a double boiler. This is a, um, a salad bowl, a Pyrex salad bowl that I got at the grocery store. Relatively inexpensive, so I'm going to try this out. It fits in there really nicely. That was sheer dumb luck. <laughs> um, but it worked, and the lid fits on there pretty nicely. I, um, I've done hot process all the way through in the oven before, and I keep finding that it dries out. So hopefully this will work. <laughs> I hope it does. So right now I am waiting for my oils to melt. I'm going to measure out my lye and my water, but I, I, I don't need those for a while. So in the meantime, I'm going to zest my Buddha hand lemons. They are the craziest looking things. A little bit of backstory on them. I gather that when they're um, shaped like this, they come in different shapes. And this is called the closed hand Buddha. Um, again, my friend Sarah, who works with produce, was telling me about these. Uh, these are the closed hand Buddhas. There's ones that are more open. They're huge. Like They just kind of look like fingers that are all spread blade out and sort of almost like sea creatures but these are called prayer hands or closed Buddha hand lemons and um, they are traditionally what is used as um, I guess offerings to Buddha <laughs> but they smell phenomenal I have no idea what kind of purpose you would use them for cooking but they've got so much zest on them like Almost the whole thing is just zesty bits. And then a little bit of fruit on the inside on there. <laughs> but they're crazy and I love them. And oh my gosh, do they smell good. So if you see them at the grocery store, just give them a sniff and you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to zest these and I'm going to chop this up. And I'm going to infuse my oils with it. And hopefully what will happen is I won't have to... I'm not going to add any essential oils or fragrance oils to this at all. I'm going to just go for broke and try to infuse the oils with good smells that I like. Like, see that? That is all zest and pith. <laughs> and holy crap, does that smell good. Ha. A pound of oils tonight. And um, out of my Buddha lemon, I managed to get an ounce of zest. That's a lot of zest for one lemon. <laughs> I'm going to put this, all of it, into the bowl with the oils as they're melting. I I'm not even going to try to keep it from going in there. I have cheesecloth, and I'm going to use that for the basil. Because I don't think the green bits will hang out very well. Um, but the lemon zest, I think, will handle okay. After watching the cucumber, I'm pretty convinced 
a lot is uh, forgivable in this soap, or in soaping in general. It's probably, the, the cucumber soap, I have to admit, is probably going to turn like yellow and then brown after a while, but, um, and this might do the same thing, but I'm hoping to sort of head off some of that, or at least get the lye to not be so active for so long uh, by making this a hot process. Hot process. All right, so our zest is in there. It's going to heat up with the oils and hopefully extract some of that awesome smell out from the lemons and into the oil. So this is going to hang out in there for quite some time before I actually start making soap. That smells awesome. Oh my gosh. I love the smell of fresh herbs and such. <laughs> Don't you? Trying not to squeeze these. So all of that wonderful smell inside the soap, not on my hands. like a tea bag. Ooh. Well, it smells awesome in here already. It's been about 20 minutes. All the oils have melted. The lemon smells awesome. The basil smells really awesome too, although I have a feeling I probably should have gotten more basil to do this with. We'll see though. I'm going to let it go for another half an hour. And I'm going to clean up the bit of mess that I've made already. Ooh, it looks pretty. This is going to be floating around in the soap, too. Hmm. If only green things stayed super green, that would be fabulous. All right, wonderful people, it's been an hour and a half. And I'm squeezing the oils out of the basil bag. As best I can. And to compensate, I'm going to super fat even a little bit more than I usually do. By maybe an ounce. Can you see the brown droplets? Now the brown, and they're kind of dispersed here and there and everywhere, is what I was squeezing out of the basil bag. And I wonder what that is. Is it basil oil? Ooh. Well, it's not mixing with the oil around it, so it might just be water. <laughs> basil, basil juice. <laughs> the fragrance oils are essential oils to this because I really do want to see how much uh, an oil infusion can lend to the batch. And actually, that's pretty incredible. The lye is turning it a, uh, a bright yellow color. I don't know if you can see that. I wonder if that's the oils or if some of the lemon juice got in there.